Come and break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Do you like my sexy voice? Okay, literally, in like the last five minutes, as I was gathering everything to film, I sat down and I had this voice. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of feeling it. I feel like I should record my voicemail right now, my voicemail introduction, and be like, hey guys, you've reached Danny. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I hardly ever lose my voice uh, and when I do like once every five years I'm pretty excited about it I know most people are like that is not something to be excited for but it's a little things in life you guys <laughs> why am I not wearing lipstick today so oftentimes when I sit in my room and I'm gathering notes and essentials and new products that I've hauled and things I try to come up with um, ideas or topics that inspire me because I feel like when it's something that inspires me it's going to translate on camera and you'll understand me better or we'll have something in common or my excitement will be contagious and even if it's not a topic that you're interested in if I'm excited and I'm eager or enthusiastic about it It'll, it'll, it, it transmits, it, you know, the, it's like energy. So anyway, I'm not wearing lipstick because something that's been really, 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 really awesome and exciting to me lately, not lately, I would say in the last six months or more, are lip oils. So lip oils are all the rage. I mean, they're, they're all the rage right now. They're like a thing. And I didn't know how many actually existed. So I was doing my research and it turns out that lip oils aren't a new thing. In fact, um, lip oils are something that's not new and they were a product used more by mature ladies. I hate, I hate, I hate when I have to describe age. You know what I mean? It's like, who cares? But anyway, it was something that was used by women that, you know, uh, in their nighttime routine, something to smooth out the fine lines, someone that had like texture on their lips and they wanted just like a juicy, plumpy glow and anti-aging properties. So they would use like a botanical blend of oils to improve the condition of their lips. Well, now lip oils are trendy. And there are so many trendy ones going on right now. I mean, you have like the old fashioned, the first ones to come out like from Clarins, but now you have newer uh, products from brands like YSL, Laura Geller, Hourglass that are jumping on the bandwagon. In fact, there are some drugstore ones that um, I've heard about, but I haven't been able to find personally. So today I'm going to go through three of the lip oils that I own. I'm going to tell you about the product and then I'll tell you which ones are my favorites or which ones I prefer. I purchased two of the three that I'm going to show you and my favorite one is actually the one that I purchased initially and I think it's the most expensive. I don't know. I have, is it the most expensive? Let me see. Actually, no, it's the middle price one. So we're in the middle of winter and my lips are kind of on fire right now. I do get chapped lips in the winter, but not like the scaly kind, just the ones that burn a lot. And so what I'm gonna do is I need to get something on these lips, on all of this lip. Um, I'll put it on, I'll tell you about it. I actually have notes, you guys. Like I typed up notes like a geek and I underline, just don't touch me. So I have my notes, I'll put it on, I'll talk to you about it, I'll tell you why I like it, pros and cons, and then I'll switch, and I'll do that with all three of them, and maybe you guys can be the judge of which ones you think you would like and which ones you wouldn't. So the first one is from Hourglass Cosmetics, and this is the only one that I was actually sent as press. Press means that we get stuff sent to us as vloggers, and we are under no obligation to review them, talk about them, give them positive or negative reviews. We're just sent the product, and the company kind of just takes a leap of faith. If we like it, we'll mention it, and they're like, hey, free advertising. If we don't, it doesn't matter. It just They just send us the new releases, you know? So this one is from Hourglass, and this is the Iconic Treatment. The Iconic Treatment comes in two different colors. It's the, the permanent one is clear, and then this one is the limited edition shade in their classic color, um, Icon. And so Icon is that classic red, and this one has a cool function because it, you, you pump it. If you guys can see right there, you pump it, and the product comes out of the top. <laughs> this part here that you see, this really fancy gold tip, 
is actually gold plated. So I'm just gonna put this on while you let that idea just marinate a little bit. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but upon application, this tip is kind of tricky to use and one pump is way too much product. You guys have seen the size of my lips. I mean, this, this should be the eighth continent and it's a lot of product. So you wanna be really, really careful. In fact, I would say like a third of a pump is probably a good enough product for someone with lips my size. So I can't imagine someone with like average size lips, you know? Um, the product itself, it's not sticky. It feels like a thicker oil. It's not at all similar to the formula of the YSL ones. It's a lot thicker. It's almost like a jelly oil. It's, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. It's like a gelatinous oil. And so you put it on and a little bit goes a long way because once it touches your lips with the warmth of your lips, it really kind of um, thins out. And so you don't want it to get messy on your lips. One of the good things or the benefits about this one in particular is that it does have an anti-aging formula. It does have a scent. It almost smells like roses and apricots. It's kind of like a combo. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was part of the essential oils that are in here. And I think the last selling point for this one is that it has, uh, the reason they're called number 28, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Hourglass line, but it's because they have 14 essential oils, 10 lipid rich plant oils like hazelnut, olive, green tree, almond, jojoba oil, um, and then four nourishing vitamins. So it will soften the lips with time. Um, and then the other thing is that this red one that I'm wearing right now is limited edition. So if you wanted to try this, uh, limited edition in this shade, it's only going to be available for a short period of time. The other one is just a clear. So if you wanted like that tint, you probably want to get this one. And then the last thing is it has 0.25 fluid ounces and it um, costs $42. So the tip, <laughs> you guys, the tip is $24 carat gold plated. Is that insane or what? And the applicator isn't even that easy to use. So I would say of the ones that I'm going to show you, this is probably my second favorite, um, but it is $42. So keep that in mind. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this guy and I'm going to show you another one. Now we're going to move into the mid range priced one. And this is the Laura Geller lip oil tint. I purchased this one in a today's special value QVC kit. This one comes in a squeeze tube, but it has an applicator similar to the hourglass one. This only comes in hibiscus pink one shade right now. Um, I don't know if they're going to expand to other shades. You could tell the applicator is silver and it's a little bit uh, rounder and chubbier, a little bit more rounder and chubbier than this one. This one's pretty skinny and flat. So it kind of just pushes out the oil and this one's a little bit chubbier. You could see it's dripping down the um, applicator. So let's go ahead and put this one on. So this is the one from Laura Geller, and this one just has a pop on cap. There's a little tip inside, so it's going to plug the applicator when you put it on. This product comes with 0.42 fluid ounces, and it's only $18, I believe. Yeah, $18, 0.42. This one here was only 0.2. 0.25 and it's $42 and between these two I prefer this one 10 times better because this one tends to be a little bit thicker this one is like an actual lip oil it's it's a thinner viscosity and I love that for lip oils I want it to feel slippery on my lips I don't want that gelatinous feeling of it I don't want it to have to warm up to give me the lip oil feeling when I'm wearing a lip oil I feel like I'm doing a treatment on my lips and so my lips feel a lot more pampered. But like I said, this one only comes in hibiscus pink at the moment, and I don't know if they're going to be launching other colors. You could tell it's a really beautiful color. It doesn't have very much tint to it whatsoever, and if you already have tinted lips, it'll look even a little bit more pink than it actually looks. It's a beautiful shade, but one word of warning, it has a sensation to it when you put it on. It's not tingling or numbing, but if tingling and numbing had like a really, 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 really distant relative, that's what it would feel like. So it's almost like, I'm gonna make your lips tingle. 
I'm gonna make them numb, but it never really does. But you have that weird sensation. Does that make sense at all whatsoever? So it's not like, oh my God, my lips are numb, or oh my God, they're like tingly or super minty. No, it's it's like it's it's like it, it's wanting to, but it never really does. Um, and then it also has a subtle scent of like roses. I wanted to pinpoint it because when I was first putting it on, I was like, okay, I need to test this product out. So I was like vacuuming in my pajamas and I was putting it on and I was like, does this smell like cake? Does it smell like cookies? I was like, no, it actually, it has like a sweet scent when you put it on, but once it's on your lips and it's close to your nose, it smells like roses, which I could totally appreciate because whenever there's rose anything around my face, I feel like I'm using something that's like more pampering and luxe, you know? Now this one is coming off and the next one we're going to try, did you see that? I'm like, oh. And the next one I'm going to try are the YSL Tinted Oils. These... You know, when they first came out, I was like, oh my God, they're $32. But after seeing that the Hourglass one is $42, I'm like, yeah, they're $32. And I do have to say that I'm a sucker for the YSL ones simply because they have an applicator. I want to be able to control how I'm putting on a lip oil. I don't want to squeeze a tube and then kind of gauge if I did too much or too little or with the applicator with like the um, rounded applicator, if you have too much on the tip and you're putting it on, it can push it out and then you have too much oil on the rim. And so with the warmth of your skin, it's going to push out, even if you don't want it to, it's gonna push out and bleed. And that's not, that's not cool, that's not what it's about, you know? So with the YSL Tint and Oils, they have an applicator and it's not a doe foot applicator, it's kind of a strange one. Supposedly it's designed specifically for these oils so that you get the exact perfect amount of product without overdoing it and just depositing the perfect amount. Okay, so with the YSL Tint and Oils, they come in eight different colors. They're $32 each and they have 0.2 fluid ounces of product. So slightly less than the Hourglass, but it's $10 cheaper than the Hourglass. It's half the amount of the Laura Geller one and it's less than less than two times the amount than the Laura Geller one. The selling point of the YSL ones are that they have four essential oils, they are lightweight, non-sticky, and they are a tint, hence tint in oil, that's the name of them. So the reason they have eight different ones is because they do leave a stain on your lips. This product is quite interesting because when you first apply it, it doesn't seem like anything special. It just looks like a glossy sheen on your lips. But as it warms up, the pigment in the tint gets a little bit darker. Nothing crazy where it's gonna look strange if you're not wearing any other makeup on your face. Nothing crazy. It will get a little bit darker, and then once you eat the oil or you wipe away the oil, you will have a beautiful, natural-looking stain left on the lips. There's a reason why I have four, you guys. I am a huge fan of this product, and I should probably put it on because I'm having a moment. Oh, and by the way, with these, never store them sideways, never store them upside down, always store them standing up. That sounds high maintenance, but I store mine in that lip gloss container back there, or you could put them in a jar, or if you got the Coffee Break with Danny Zara organizer, you could put it in there standing up. Always twirl the wand to scrape the bottom because the tint tends to settle in the oil and you really wanna make sure that you get the actual tint. So look at right now when I'm applying it, it looks like I'm just applying oil, right? My lips just look glossy. Eventually, you're going to see how this actually picks up color as it warms up on my lips. If you can tell, it's already sort of transitioning. The color's already starting to pick up. The other thing that I really like about these is they smell like mango, like mango and apricots. Really awesome, like, I mean, delicious. If I had like one of those telenovela moments with my husband right now, I know he'd be like, whoa, that smells really good. It just, it smells so good. It smells like mango, I mean, hello. I'm pretty sure most people are gonna say it smells like apricot, but I wanna say it smells like mango. And then the other thing about this is the um, applicator is like, you can see it's pointed, but it has a hole in the center. So when you go across the bottom, 
whatever's in the hole pushes out to the other side. So when you flip the wand, when you go to the top side or however you do your lips. So let's say you do the bottom. So you're gonna do the bottom, whatever's in the little hole pushes out and then you flip the wand over and do the top and it's the perfect amount every single time you're gonna apply it. So I basically want to write it a love song and have a Romeo and Juliet moment with the YSL tint and oils. And not to sell this YSL product even more, but if you guys aren't a fan of wands, like applying things with wands, they're coming out Brace yourselves with a solid stick formula. So it's gonna come in like the shape of a lip balm. Like, it's gonna be like a lipstick in a bullet. It's gonna come in packaging similar to this where you twist it up and you apply it. So for those of you that are like, I'm not about that wand life, I want it to be in like bullet form. It's coming ladies, brace yourselves. I'm excited, I want, I want it in every color. I wonder if it's gonna smell the same, if it's gonna work the same. Like I'm really curious to try it and I don't know when it's gonna come out. I need to stop. I'm a little too eager right now. So those are the three types of lip oils in my collection. Um, honestly, if I were to grade them or place them, I think the least favorite of mine is the Hourglass for a lot of things. The price, it's $42, is completely unreasonable. The applicator is really difficult to use, and the thickness of the product, it's a little bit too thick for my liking. If you're going to be a lip oil, like, be an oil. Don't be... A, it's almost like a really, really loose balm or a really, really gelatinous oil. And I'm not down for that. It's, make up your mind. I want it to be a lip oil. And now for the Laura Geller one, I think you get a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, it's $18. You get almost half an ounce. The applicator is really friendly. Uh, you just have to squeeze it so it's easy to apply. I mean, you could do it without a mirror, I would say. A downside that I would say is I don't know if it comes in multiple shades, so that might be something to consider, but it really doesn't matter because the color that it comes in now is a really graceful, beautiful pink that would look great on everyone. The other thing that some of you might not like is that non-tingly, non-numbing sensation. Like, it's not numbing, but it wants to be. You know, it's that like, weird feel. I'm sure there's an ingredient in here that gives you that sort of feeling. But the winner in my book is definitely the YSL Tint and Oils. They are $32, so I wouldn't say have a collection of them. Um, but find one that you really like. They're beautiful because they leave a stain, they're comfortable to wear, even if they were to bleed a little bit, like you put way too much on. It's not going to make a mess on your face. It's good for the lips. It has essential oils, and it comes in a variety of shades. That's tricky to say for these oils. I mean, I know these lip oils are not new to the market, but they are trendy now, so they're resurfacing, and not a lot of companies are jumping on the multiple shade bandwagon. So if you wanted to try the lip oil, but you wanted to do more than just be an oil for your lips, you want it to be a stain as well, or like a tint, um, and you also want it to smell good like mangoes, this might be a good place to start. I know Sephora sometimes offers little sample sizes. Oh, you guys. Sephora sometimes offers little sample sizes. This is a baby tint in oil. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cute? So it might be a really good way to try it. This was a perk. So it might be a really good way to try it without jumping in and doing the $32 for one lip oil. You know what I mean? So before you jump on the lip oil trend, make sure that the lip oil that you're getting is actually doing something for your lips. Make sure that it's loaded with vitamins, essential oils, anti-aging formulation. Make sure that it's doing something for your lips. Otherwise, you are just going to be putting on this. The OG lip oil. Not hating because I was there too and mine had like sand in it, it had glitter in it. I was able to manage to get a lot of stuff behind that roller ball. <laughs> like always, all of these products will be listed in the description box below in case you guys need more details, pricing, all of that stuff will be listed in the description box below. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And like always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or heard something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.